on behalf of GoDaddy, welcome. Before we got um, uh, the session today is recorded, but will also be stopped um, by the time for the Q and A uh, for your for for your privacy. Uh, but for your reference, we'll be also be able to share the recording after after this call. Um, good morning um, again on behalf of GoDaddy. We welcome you today as they share insights related to website security. Um, speaking to you today are first off Norman Barrientos, Marketing Director for Southeast Asia of GoDaddy, and Jade Tamboan from the GoDaddy Guides team. We'd also like to acknowledge the presence of Pamela Portin, Director of International Communications of GoDaddy, dialed in all the way in from the US. All right, as I mentioned earlier, we'd like to remind everyone that this session is recorded, but we will stop by the time our QA begins. Also reminding that our executives can only answer questions that are not related uh, that are related to the presentation. For any questions that are not related to the said presentation, um, kindly approach Pam of Ogilvy of the Ogilvy team, and we'll be happy to assist offline. Now to kick things off and share more insights on website security, we turn you over to Norman Barrientos, Marketing Director for Southeast Asia of GoDad. Thanks, Wayne, uh, and good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for being with us today. We want to spend time talking about the importance of website security for Filipino SMBs. This is on the back of the learnings we got from our recently concluded website security survey. We believe this is a highly relevant topic for businesses given the anticipated increase in transactions during this holiday season. So for most uh, holidays would start around September, uh, especially for those of us uh, who put out our Christmas trees from the storage room. So that's me included. So I'll be your presenter today, and I'm joined by uh, Jade to take you through all the details of our learnings. Um, so with that, uh, let me begin by introducing to you all on who we are. So we're GoDaddy. We're a trusted growth partner of everyday entrepreneurs. We are also the world's largest domain and name register. Um, for some, uh, maybe we can elaborate what a domain name is. So you can't have a website without a domain name. It's like a street address that tells people where you live. So the domain allows you, uh, allows your customers to actually locate where you are, and uh, you can drive them directly to your website. We have over 20 million customers with over 82 million domain names in our management and all powered by the 9,000 uh, plus employees around the globe. We empower everyday entrepreneurs uh, by providing all the help and tools needed to succeed online. We are the place where people come to name an idea, bring it to life by building a professional website, to attract customers and sell their products and services. And of course, manage their work. Our mission is ultimately to provide all the help and tools together with the insights that people need to transform all their ideas into success. Uh, we also have six key offerings. First off is the websites and marketing that allows you to manage your presence all in one place uh, and get uh, it allows you to get found online everywhere, including Google, social media, Facebook, and your customers' uh, mailboxes. We also offer domain name registration. So as mentioned earlier, this is like your street address allows your customers to locate you online. We also offer professional emails, which makes your business look like a world-class one. So it gives more credibility to your offerings. We also have a managed WordPress, which is a simpler and safer version of WordPress. This allows you to get more traffic and peace of mind uh, because it comes with the built-in SEO and security, and it simplifies your setup. Hosting, uh, this one makes your site visible on the web. So whether you have simple blogs or high traffic sites, you can provide all the needs uh, um, and to ensure that you're covered. And of course, we have our GoDaddy guides who will uh, provide the expert advice and guidance helping you along the way as you go through this online journey for your businesses. So with that, let's jump into the key topics that we'll be covering for this morning. First off, we'll be covering the digital expansion. We'll talk about 
um, the digital expansion as we end the second year of this new normal. We'll also talk about how this led to the rise of side hustlers, which fueled the growth of SMBs. Then we will dive into the importance of website protection for our Filipino entrepreneurs and learn more about their worries around this area. Lastly, we'll revisit some of the top line security tips that we shared to you during our last webinar. It is a timely reminder for the SMBs, given that we expect a surge in their online business transactions this month. With that, let's kick start the session. So the digital migration has started in 2020, with most businesses having adopted online technologies in some of their business operations. Well, some others have been keen to actually kickstart their online process, uh, online presence. Especially uh, notice during the seasons uh, when they want to actually anticipate the increase in traffic online. We have previously mentioned and pointed out on how businesses have changed the way they perceive online technologies and services. Initially from a nice to have prior to the pandemic and now a must have post the onset of the pandemic. People have really become aware on how essential it is to keep their businesses afloat. The shift in mindset has also kicked the increase, uh, kick off the increase in the availability and accessibility of digital tools, and as such led to the digital expansion fueling the growth of SMBs. This growth was made possible by the enablement of Filipinos with full-time jobs to start their online businesses on the side. So this ushered the rise of the side hustlers or otherwise known as having sidelines um, in, in the market. These are usually undertaken by those who are retired or stay home parents. And talking about holidays earlier, you can see a spike in sidelines during this time of the year. Uh, especially when people start buying gifts for oneself or your loved ones, um, which increases as we go closer to the Christmas and the New Year season. A lot of people used to engage in physical bazaars, mine, me, me included, that had a limited time offering. Going online has not only expanded the customer's reach for these sidelines, but also helped some to make holiday sidelines or the temporary side hustles become a more permanent one. Oops, sorry. So we anticipate uh, to see a rise not only in the online activities um, during the peak sales season, but also help in the businesses, um, more businesses going online during this Christmas. So with the growth of SMBs partially attributed to the accessibility and availability of digital tools, we can see indications of this growth as early as the first half of last year. DTI reports 70,000 online businesses being registered on the onset of the pandemic between March and August of 2020, and at the same time during the start of the nationwide lockdown. It saw an increase to nearly 450% of new uh, businesses uh, registered in the internet retail in May versus the previous quarter of the same year. Now, this growth of the online population emphasizes the importance of protecting websites. This is very important during this time of the year for online business owners as they see gift buying spree during these times. Now, based on the recently concluded global security survey, Pinoy SMBs acknowledge that most of their websites processes personal information. Now, given this security uh, sensitivity to data, higher standards for website security measures are necessary. We also found out that the issue of cybersecurity is important to them and that the vast majority tend to agree that small businesses are at risk of cyber attacks. So when we started probing and asked what would be the potential impact on their businesses of uh, security breach on their websites, Pinoy entrepreneurs tend to worry about exposure of customer data, 
given they process a lot of personal information, especially these days. Another primary concern is the loss of customer trust that can be driven by other factors, including unresponsive sites or long waiting times and data breaches that can be caused by digital security threats. Now, when we ask which security threats pose a real threat to their businesses, phishing and malware were on top at 90 and 91% respectively. Ransomware was far third at 78%. Then when we tried to assess the readiness in terms of dealing with this um, security threats, almost a quarter, 24%, says that they know how to deal with it themselves. Well, 37% said they know where to get help. And almost 40% said they wouldn't know how to deal with such attacks if it happened. With all these, SMBs are now compelled to take a longer term view on protecting their investment. When asked if they researched or bought a website protection and security solution for their websites, a majority of 78% said they have researched, though only almost half at 35% have purchased the solutions. As a business owner, this would be a great gift to yourself as you prepare to embark on the New Year's welcoming 2022. Now, given what we found out, that only a quarter of SMPs are actually ready to deal with cyber attacks, we thought it would be a good idea to have a refresher on how to help protect your businesses online. With that, I'll turn you over to Jade to discuss more about this topic. Thank you very much, Norman. Uh, so let me start by sharing my screen. So hi, everyone. My name is Jade. Uh, I'm from GoDaddy Care. And I'm going to guide us into looking back at a topic that we covered on our previous webinar. So the holiday season is a very busy and particularly stressful time for online entrepreneurs. Um, so in a few days, uh, we're going to be dropping the 1212 sale and the increase in online purchases will continue until probably next month. Uh, because of the surge in online transactions, the attention of our online entrepreneurs might be taken away from securing the most valuable business assets. And that would include their websites and online accounts. Uh, I'm sure everyone here agrees that the holiday season is definitely not the time that we would like to have a security breach happen to our online businesses. So before the Christmas rush comes into full gear, let's prepare ourselves by allotting some time and consideration on online security. And we're going to start with passwords. So passwords are the primary source of security for our accounts. Um, so we have to take password security very seriously. A compromised password means that your account has already been tampered and it could only go worse from there. So here are some ways that we can improve password security. Uh, number one, um, the, there's, in passwords, longer is always better. Between a randomized but short password and a longer password that uses actual words, the longer password actually has more complexity and is harder to crack. Now, not everybody can remember like randomized letters on their passwords. So there's going to be a lot of people who understandably will be using actual words. If you're going to be using actual words in your passwords, non-English words would be better. Many malware that try to crack passwords will often use words from major languages first. So maybe basing your password in like a language like Picolano, for example, will help your password be more secure. Of course, not using dictionary words will make it harder to figure out what your password is. Now, 
a lot of us have multiple accounts online, so it's not a great idea to use the same password for uh, for different accounts. If one account gets compromised um, and you have different passwords for each one of them, then you can be at least assured that the other accounts will remain relatively safe. Updating your passwords periodically is also a great thing because it's going to be harder to open a door if the lock keeps on changing. Now, keeping track of passwords for multiple accounts is definitely hard. It's not something that a lot of people would do, especially a lot of people who are very busy with their uh, online business. The good thing is there are now many tools that can help make managing passwords easier for us. And finally, use two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication could be done through one-time codes that are sent via text messages or sometimes using code generating applications. Two-factor authentication can further protect the security of your most important accounts by ensuring that only one person can successfully log in. Now, while we cannot discount uh, the importance of passwords in securing our accounts, security does not stop there. There are other things that we should consider to ensure that our websites and online accounts are actually safer. Uh, number one would be to be proactive with uh, website maintenance. One good place to start with that is by updating your system applications and website software regularly. You can also archive and remove old data from your website and other system, uh, uh, other online accounts. Not only will removing old data make your website run faster, you can also minimize the amount of available customer data that can be stolen if your system does get compromised. So that's going to be something that you might want to consider to protect very valuable uh, customer data. Now, having a padlock icon on your website to indicate that there is an SSL certificate is also a great way to assure your customers that you are a legitimate business and that you're also protecting their personal information uh, when they are entering them into your website. For instant messengers, for example, enabling end-to-end -end encryption ensures that the messages that you send will only be read by your intended recipient. Another thing that online entrepreneurs might want to consider is the use of firewall and backup monitoring services. A firewall can help block hacking and malware attacks from uh, impacting your website and something that you don't want to happen, damaging your reputation. It can also help secure sensitive areas like the back end control panel of the websites. Now, backup monitoring ensures that should the worst thing happen, you will always have a ready backup that will restore your website as soon as possible. Protecting your security goes beyond online accounts because our online business is often connected to our personal browsing, like if we're using the same devices and uh, computers to access both personal browsing and um, our business website, um, we should also exercise care and caution with our other online activities and even our offline activities. So one way to do that is do not open links in website comments, especially if the comments do not seem to make sense, because often many of those links lead to malicious websites that can be able to get some information from us. Now, if in case one of your contacts sends you a weird message out of the blue, you might, before replying to that message, you might want to send a text message or call that person. Now, we've heard stories of friends or relatives who were duped by someone who pretended to be a person that they know. And vigilance on that kind of behavior online can help protect us and secure our personal information.
Now, speaking of people that we do not know, uh, do not respond to messages from strangers who are not inquiring about your business. Uh, one of the things that we we have a lot of us have been experiencing lately is like a lot of messages from you know unknown numbers asking us or inquiring or offering jobs to a lot of people. So because the Christmas season is a time when entrepreneurs receive a lot of inquiries, this could also be taken advantage by a lot of malicious people who will try to trick our entrepreneurs into collecting personal information that can help in gaining access to very important payment or banking accounts. Um, if you're the type of person who checks emails often, do not open unexpected email attachments. This is probably one of the easiest way to get your system and your uh, device infected by malicious software. Now, a lot of us and Filipinos are very well known for their use of social media. So I'm pretty sure a lot of us here love meme sites, especially those that tells us who our celebrity lookalike are. Um, if a meme website that we visit requires us to connect with our social media account, you might wanna think twice before continuing. Um, you might be entertained by the funny memes, but if that website has access to your Facebook or your Google account, well, they will have access to a lot of your personal data. And by extension, they can gain access to the personal data of many of your customers. Now to sum up uh, everything that we've covered, um, password security is a very important part in protecting our website and online accounts. Regular maintenance and system updates can also help keep our personal and business data secure. Uh, applications and products like SSL, firewall, and backup monitoring can help add extra layer of protection to our online uh, presence, and it makes security breaches less likely. GoDaddy is one of the best places where you can get, uh, where, where an online business can be able to get these tools for their websites. And finally, our personal browsing can uh, be tied to our business tools and online accounts. So we should be extra careful where we share our social media accounts. And that's it for me on online security. So back to you, Wayne. All right, thank you very much, Jade, uh, for reminding us uh, of a lot of these particular um, safety practices online, which I'm sure our media friends will be able to share with their readers. Uh, now, um, we, we get to the portion where um, we all get to ask your questions to our speakers today um, uh, for, for allowing us to, to share with you the insights from GoDaddy. And uh, I'd like to um, just leave it to Norma to say a few words to end the session. Um, just saying. Yep. So again, thank you everyone for uh, allocating your time to, to join us on this sharing. Um, we hope to actually catch you again on our next series this year, uh, coming 2022. Um, we're looking forward to engage more local businesses and uh, share with you our key findings as we move forward. Alrighty, with that, um, we'd like to thank again our friends from the media for joining us, and we hope to see you uh, perhaps in person rather soon. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Take thank care. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thanks everyone.